Welcome to the third lecture of a complex number for class plus one. Today we will discuss about some recap of previous topics, modulus and amplitude of a complex number. Firstly, in the recap, what is complex number? Complex number is in the form of x plus iota y. It is denoted by z. X is what is a real portion of a complex number, and iota y root is of a imaginary portion. Every number in a complex in a number system can be represented on a graph. Yes, it can. Now, problem is what? Problem is how to represent a complex number on a graph. How to represent? A complex number on a graph. For a point on a graph, we need we need coordinates. That is, abscissa and ordinate. We need abscissa and ordinate. देखो, coordinate These are abscissa and ordinate. अब अगर आपका किसी भी नंबर में अगर आपका ग्राफ देते ड्रॉ करना है दैट वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द नंबर ऑन अ ग्राफ देन वी नीड टू थिंग्स दैट इज एब्सिस एंड ऑर्डिनेट दैट इज कोऑर्डिनेट्स नाउ इन केस ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर देखो इफ यू हैव अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर दिस रियल पोर्शन दिस इज अ रियल पोर्शन एंड दिस इज एक्स इज व्हाट अ रियल नंबर ऑफ अ रियल पोर्शन That is real number of real portion. Okay, and y only y y is a real number on real number of imaginary portion. X is what a real number of a real portion, and only y is a real number of a imaginary portion. हम देखो जितने किसे पॉइंट है चाहे अगर तो अगर कुछ एब्सिसेंट ऑर्डिनेट चाहिए तो कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर को इस तरीके से ना कंपेयर करो रियल नंबर ऑफ अ रियल पोर्शन इज वर्क एस एन एब्सिसा एंड द रियल नंबर ऑफ इमेजिनरी पोर्शन वर्क एस एन ऑर्डिनेट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव ज इज इक्वल टू ट Then you have two real numbers here. First is two, that is a real number of real portion, and second is what? It is three, that is a real number of imaginary portion. This implies if you compare it with this, if you compare it with this, you have two numbers. That is x is two, and y is three. X is two and y is three. Then you have a coordinate. Coordinate is what? Two and three. Represent it on a graph. That is one, two, three, one, two, three. That is here you have two and you have three. That's a point. That is a two, three, two and three. Got it? Z is x plus iota y and x and y are the same coordinates on the graph. That's a coordinate of a point. That can be represented on a graph. That is two and three. Then you can plot a graph on it. But there is another method to draw a point on a graph. This is called a Cartesian form, in which we use x and y. This is called Cartesian form. This is what is called Cartesian form or Cartesian representation. And Cartesian representation. Cartesian representation is what, which can be represented by x and y only. Got it? There is a first method to draw a point on graph. Clear? Now second is what? Like, for example, you have a graph. This is a graph. Okay? Suppose you have a graph. 
If you take like this, suppose you have a you have a line of certain length. It has a length. You have a line of certain length. If you take that line to any angle, any angle to x-axis, then the tip of that line can give also a point. Suppose this is a line at an angle theta. This is a line at an angle theta and it has some certain length that is r with an angle theta with x axis can also give a point on a graph. Got it? So that's a second representation. But in this case, not at all because x use where not at all y use where. Use ki where length of a line and angle with the horizontal that is x axis. Clear? Yeah? Then in polar form, this is called a polar form. In polar form, keep which use one R that is length of a line. And second is angle of a line to x axis. To what? X axis. Got it? In the Cartesian form, you use x and y as a coordinates, but in the case of polar form, you can use r and theta. These are the first is what length of a line, and second is what angle with the x axis. Now, in the case of polar form, every complex number is represented in the form of x and y. That's in the Cartesian form. Now, question is what? That how you can change that Cartesian form to the polar form contents. That is how x and y no apa r the theta can change kar sakte. Ode li modulus and amplitude concepts hai. Ode li modulus and amplitude complex concepts hai. Modulus is modulus is nothing. It's r actually. And amplitude is amplitude is angle with the horizontal. Clear? So these are the two things that we, we need in the further concepts of complex numbers. Now, R for solving R formula for finding length or in mathematical language. That is modulus. Okay, that is these two lines, two z represent the modulus of a complex number. It represents the modulus of a complex number. And the formula for the modulus, for the modulus of a complex number is x square plus y square in the square root. That is z modulus is equal to square root of x square plus y square. x square is what? x square is what? x square is this one. That is the real number of a real portion. And y is what? y is the real number of imaginary portion. If you have, suppose, for example, if you have under root 3 plus alpha, if you have a complex number that is z, is equal to square root of 3 plus alpha. Then compare it with this. x is what? 5 comparing square root of 3. And y is what? That is 1. You have nothing with alpha. You have nothing with alpha. Alpha is all this is the alpha. 1. Now, if you want to take a modulus of this, then x square is y square is and this makes this and we have a remaining with the answer 2 that is the modulus of this z is actually 2 that is the length of z and angle for the angle formula for angle that is theta 
or in mathematical language it's called ambient okay for this you have a formula tan theta is equal to y by x in this case angle is measured in tan okay tan theta is equal to y by x. y is what that is one half x is what that is square root of three this implies you have you have tan theta but in this case this is what this is tan 30 degree tan tan cancel each other and the u will remain with the answer 30 degree or you can write it as pi by 6 pi is what 180 degree 180 degree by 6 is 30 degree these are the two constants that we will use in the further concepts and that that's that's the third exercise of your book that is modulus and we are discussing some examples regarding this that is first example is what that is modulus of find the modulus of uh, 1 plus alpha upon 1 minus alpha find the modulus of 1 plus alpha upon 1 minus alpha first you have to think that is it a exact form of a complex number no it's not exact form of a complex number then you have to make it exact how rationalize it that's called a rationalization got it rationalize you have to see the denominator first denominator is in the 1 minus iota form then you have to change the sign between these two terms and multiply those two terms up and down that is in your numerator and denominator hum dekho ki kar sakte hain 1 plus i over to 1 plus i over 1 plus i over a square 1 minus i over 1 plus i over a square minus b square b square a plus b minus b is a square minus b square solve it a square plus b square plus 2 a b and here it is 1 minus minus because i plus square is minus 1 plus i over square plus e over 1 plus 1 that is 2 i over square is what actually here minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel each other 2 i over by 2 that is i over so it's a simplest form of a complex number but it's not a exact form of a complex number make it make it exact you don't have the real portion then you can add zero zero plus over i now in this case compare z is equal to x plus iota by x is what zero y is what one and modulus of z is you have a formula x square plus y square x square is zero square y square is one square that is one you have a modulus and if you want to find the amplitude of that then tan theta is equal to y by x tan y is what here y is one half and x is zero that is infinite but in this case tan 90 degree is actually infinite tan tan cancel each other and we will remain with the answer 90 degree and it's also common right that is for this question